Hi guys, this is my first optimization video for 2.7. First, I want to show you the difference between different cloud settings. As you can see on the screen, you can set the cloud settings low, standard, high and ultra. Uh, it's not easy to see the difference uh, at YouTube encoding, but uh, I am sure that you can see the difference between low, standard, high and ultra. For example, in high settings, edges of the clouds are more uh, defined, but in ultra they are smoothed out. Uh, ultra seems more realistic to me. I don't see any blocky textures or defects in any of the settings. All settings are good, seems fine, and there is no problem with them. Uh, here I say again, uh, I use and prefer the ultra setting. And now let's look at the cloud settings performance difference. First settings clouds low. As you can see, our menu is uh, changed a bit. There are some new settings, new parameters. Uh, su super screen, ambient occlusion, force and scenery uh, factors. There are some new settings. Uh, we will see what difference they make uh, in this video. Now we have set the clouds low. Uh, these are the settings uh, I generally use at my online play. As you can see, low setting. Uh, this is the clouds low set. Uh, I think the scenery is just fine as I have said before. These settings are all good, as you can see, clouds are not blocky, no problematic textures. Uh, performance is about 95 FPS, uh, 97, 96. Uh, this is the uh, Caucasus flight, free flight, I, I'm using at my optimization videos. Uh, before this, for the clouds, 2.7 patch I was able to get uh, 110 115 FPS uh, but as you can see at this video FPS changed so much and there's a brock as you can see right side of the screen I don't know if it's a uh, bug or not but uh, texture seems broken now let's try the cloud standard setting FPS uh, does not change so much meaningfully it's about the same and there is broken texture on the edge of arrows as you can see I don't know if it's a bug or not or about the drivers I am using AMD and uh, Radeon 6800 XT maybe it's about drivers uh, there is a broke as you can see at the texture but uh, FPS is about the same there is no difference as you can see there is a broke as you can see on the texture you should look very carefully I don't know uh, YouTube encoding lets you to see this but I can see it openly now the cloud setting high only changed cloud setting to high. Let's see how the FPS is. FPS seems a little bit lower, but as I have said, clouds affects FPS so much. Not very stable FPS value you can get, especially when you fly in the clouds. Uh, I have set the flight at flight altitude uh, to be in the clouds roaming in the clouds uh, FPS is about the same uh, all settings are fine for me if you consider the clouds quality uh, it's your preference I think there's a texture broken line at the right hand side of the screen 
but this is the first big update you know Eagle Dynamics should prepare a, a new patch for this update soon I think this is the ultra setting which I prefer just changing cloud setting to ultra Uh, to my eyes, uh, this setting seems to be a bit smoother than uh, high setting. Uh, performance is a little bit lower than high, but not very meaningful. Uh, that doesn't affect so much. 1 FPS, 2 FPS, 3 FPS, nothing, nothing to be mentioned. Uh, as you can see, clouds are smoother. I think they are much better. Uh, so uh, class settings uh, does not affect the FPS so much uh, when you consider uh, if you have a uh, medium to high end uh, graphics card but uh, at low end uh, cards uh, you can try different settings to see what FPS is it's if it is playable or not I'm curious about first details factor and senior details factor parameters affect the scenery. Uh, to see that, I'm flying low with MiG-21. Uh, as you can see on the first, these settings, uh, first details factor is 0 0.1, which is the lowest, and senior details factor was set to 1, default value see the forest and scenery now we will compare it with different settings we are flying under the clouds if the clouds will change I don't know I'm focusing on the forest now here looking at the forest details honestly I don't know what will change these settings Now we are setting first details factor to 1, senior details factor to 1, to maximum settings. To my eyes, they seem to be identical. Forest is a little bit more shadowy. Shadows are not, uh, shadows are more uh, prominent, if I can see. And uh, clouds seems to be same to my eyes, I don't know, they seem to, they seem to say, uh, forest is a little, a little bit much more defined, thicker, it seems thicker to my eyes, I don't know, I don't know how to say, but, uh, but nearly identical, I don't see any meaningful difference here, you can see the FPS for you, but there is no meaningful comparison with this free fly. Here I set the scenery details factor to 0.1, lowest setting, first detail factor is 1. Oh, okay. Now uh, I can see the difference at the first here. Scenery details factor I think affected the forest uh, density. I don't mean the number of the uh, trees, but it seems uh, less defined to my eyes yes there yeah, guys I feel the difference now uh, I think senior details factor uh, affected more than the first details factor I don't know how but to my eyes it seems uh, it seems it's making difference but uh, there is no meaningful difference so much I think Uh, now let's see the uh, most important setting came with 2.7 I think screen space ambient occlusion setting uh, I'm setting it to on now uh, this setting is a uh, post processing technique which defines the shadows on the screen which gives 3d dimensional view to your eyes uh, 
as you can see performance seemed a little bit lower uh, before the uh, before this setting it was up to 95s but it's now 7980 as you can see in the cockpit I can see the difference between ambient occlusion these shadows seems thicker much more prominent I think and uh, in the games this ambient occlusion setting is very important I think which gives very good 3D dimensional view uh, by, by uh, pressing on the shadows now we will see ambient occlusions effect on the uh, fighter when you look at low you see the uh, shadows much more prominent at the line of uh, let's see from below yes you can see at the edge of uh, body I suggest you to use this setting uh, it affects about only 5% now we are enabling super sampling anti-aliasing to multiply 1.5 as you may remember if you watched my previous videos this setting affects the performance about up to 40 percent uh, according to your video graphics cards performance let's see how it will affect as you can see fps performance dropped to 40s as i have said before this uh, setting kills the fps uh, I don't suggest you to use uh, super sampling anti-aliasing if you don't own uh, RTX 3090 or RX 6900 XT at the highest end cards and I don't see any meaningful difference between SSAA on and off. Uh, now we have left screen space ambient occlusion to on as we suggested and now trying SSLR super sampling light reflections uh, it was affecting up to 20% performance let's see how it will affect now at this new 2.7 uh, it's about 80s it seems it's not affecting at all uh, I suggest you to leave this SSLR on as you may see as you may know light reflections seems much better on water surfaces maybe at this screen uh, there is no water surface or sea and uh, maybe it's not affecting that much because of that but uh, maybe it's optimized I think it's optimized now uh, I suggest you to leave the SSLR on with SSAO With the ultra settings, as you can see, scenery seems perfect. And now I want to see this combination with uh, visibility range set to ultra to see how the FPS will be compared to visibility range to high because it affected my FPS up to 10% before uh, with the latest. 2.5 but with the new 2.7 I want to see how the difference will be and it will show uh, you to set the visibility range because it's important as you uh, know <laughs> at the uh, multiplayer scenarios especially at servers let's see how this setting will affect our uh, FPS Uh, I'm leaving all my settings as before uh, I suggest you to watch my previous optimization video for these settings details uh, you can set the textures uh, according to your uh, graphic graphics cards performance and uh, according to your FPS uh, these are all affecting your FPS result uh, now let's see how the result will be with this setting now as you can see frame rate is 
about the same with visible to range to high so uh, you can set visible to range to ultra if you have a, a powerful graphics card but you can set to high or medium if you have uh, weaker graphics cards and now I want to see the multi sampling anti-aliasing settings at 2.7 as you may know it's affecting up to 25-30% of your FPS performance now I want to see the, uh, the result of set it to 4x ok we are seeing a problem here there is a problem with the drivers AMD drivers or with the 2.7 I don't know it was ok with 2.5 I think it, this setting needs a patch we cannot see as you can see that's a garbage Now setting back to 2x to be sure and as you can see it's normal again the problem with uh, the set to 4x guys as you know this is a very huge update there are many new settings new features uh, one of the most important settings is the super screen, super screen ambient occlusion uh, scenery factor settings there are optimizations as I see SSLR is working much better I, as I see uh, there is a bug with my AMD drivers um, with multi sampling anti-aliasing you should uh, test your individual system and individual card with these settings you have seen how these affect the result or how these affect the FPS uh, some may affect so much for example super sampling anti-aliasing affects up to 50% uh, ambient occlusion affects so little cloud settings difference is minimal and uh, forced factors uh, seems do not affect the performance at all uh, you may even not uh, see the difference visually there are many settings as you can see on the screen I am setting my optimized settings for my AMD 6800XT uh, at my previous videos I have uh, described all these settings individually as you can see uh, please test these settings with your individual system all systems are different uh, guys please subscribe give your comments below see you guys bye